In this video, I'm teaming up again with Felix Mischke from Tennis Brothers to play doubles together for the second week in a row. If you missed out on the videos from the previous week, make sure to check those out. I'll leave a link for those in the description. But for this match, we take on a very tricky Romanian and Russian doubles team. And going into this match, we were actually big favorites. And I feel like we really just stuck to the game plan and did everything the way we should and just had full control of the match. But kind of a reoccurring subject in all my matches is the momentum shift that happens so quickly. I can take a lot of blame for that. I kind of lost a little energy. But as always, I'll make sure to give you a full insight into my thoughts, what I think I should have done a lot better in this match or maybe what we did do well. And make sure to watch the whole match through to see what team came out on top and to listen to what both me and Felix thought about the match. So I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, let's check it out. So going into this match, I don't know why, but I was just, I don't know, it just felt really flat for some reason. And uh, it really goes to show here, kind of like the first game, my decision making there, deciding to go line. And then a 15, like a 30-15 thrown in a double fault, and then one more double fault in a row to 30-40. And then one more just, just horrible slice there, just indecisive. And yeah, we start off the match, uh, or I start off the match horrendously, and we get broken uh, in the first game there. And as I mentioned, like on paper, we we should really take care of business in this match. But yeah, for some reason, I was just very flat and I just kind of struggled to get my energy going. It's just so important, especially when you're playing on, on clay court. You just need to have the intensity because the shots are going to feel weird or feel bad a lot of times because, you know, we hit a good four and so a lot of times you just don't get as much as you maybe usually get from it. So it's just so important to just keep that intensity up. But... Good service game there by Felix, and we managed to get uh, our first game on the board there. But they kind of handles here an opportunity here to break them, uh, as we have a break point here at 30-40, and with a good return there, just below the net tape, we managed to get a break back there to two wall. So it's really important for us here to just kind of keep that momentum going and just just keep staying on them here and just do our thing. It's a really solid job there by Felix, just being a brick wall up there. And I must actually give it to it, like, I thought Felix was playing some great tennis here and as I was kind of struggling uh, a little physically as well, like with my body, I uh, just haven't been playing too much lately. And uh, yeah, I just just wasn't really playing my best tennis out of here, but we kept on getting it rolling a little bit and I think my just energy level wasn't really there, but I feel like Felix did a great job of just, just staying aggressive and... Uh, yeah, just really playing some good tennis. You're gonna see as the match progresses that I just kind of lose it a little bit when I really need it to, to keep it going and, and Felix did a good job of just keeping us in it. So we're starting to just kind of find our groove here a little bit and actually just from 0-2 down, we just started cruising and just got five very quick games here to 5-2. Yeah, to hey, if you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe to the video. Really appreciate it, it helps out the channel a lot. Let's get back to the video. It's a great point there by Felix, really opening up the court, being aggressive on these returns. That's really something that, that we're trying to work on a lot, you know, trying to be aggressive because we are very good as we get uh, forward. So set point there, where unfortunately we missed it there on a break point or on a deuce point there, but have an opportunity here to serve it out. And, and luckily for us, I'm starting to make more first serves here and that surely helps a lot when you're playing doubles. And when the missed return there, we managed to quickly turn around the first set and get it 6-3. So really important here to come out strong and come out with good energy in the second set. Huge return there by Felix on the second serve and uh, we're off going here at 30-15. Good move there by Felix putting pressure on them and straight away we have three break points here in the first game. and. Uh, we get it rolling right away and we really feel like their kind of confidence is just going down down deep and uh, this is really the point where you have to to finish the job and just make sure to keep staying on them. As one of my earliest coaches used to tell me, first of all you have to like knock him down but after you knock them down you have to make sure to get up there and make him tap 
and this is really the opportunity where we have to make him tap because they're still in the, the fight is still alive and uh, it's just so important here to keep staying on them keep showing that energy and just just staying on them I just want to inform you about something that I believe could be very helpful for you. So what this app does, it, it gives you the opportunity as a parent or as a coach to just follow along the match, put in the scores and really just get all the relevant statistics to really see where maybe you're lacking in your game or where there's room for improvements and yeah, just all kinds of things. So make sure to check out that app. It's called Tennis Stats and Score on App Store. It's available on Android as well. So make sure to check that out. It's a really cool thing. It's free to use. I really think it could be something beneficial to just kind of see and track your game there. Hope you guys check it out and let's get back the video. The good volley there being aggressive after the serve, starting to make a lot more first serve and, and as I mentioned that is just so vital when you're playing doubles. Through an insane save there by Felix, we really get a huge game there to 2-0 and now the whole momentum is just really with us. And we just gotta keep it going. I feel like Felix is hitting the ball great. He's feeling very smooth and just fluid on the court and just playing some great tennis here. Finding these lobs and yeah, just doing a great job. But as for myself, I just felt like I was a little tentative and just a little just a little slow on the court, uh, to be honest. Just felt just a little tentative and obviously that was a huge point for us and I just kinda mess it up and in the moment it might not feel as that big of a point, but in hindsight that really just kind of changed the momentum so much and all of a sudden now it started to get a little dicey back and forth Such a good job by the lefty guy there. I feel like Felix was hitting some great backhand, just really staying defensive. And then on Deuce Point, we called the backhand switch there, but the big guy just absolutely nuked the backhand down the line. And that was probably one of the first down the line backhands he's hit. And all of a sudden, they managed to level out the second set to 2 all. Great job by Felix, as I mentioned. He's really starting to take over this match. And I don't know if it's a mix between there when I feel like he's playing better that for some reason I like relaxed or just got a little sloppy, I feel like, with my decision making. But Felix really is making up for it here as, yeah, just playing some great tennis. Which I can't say for myself, unfortunately, there at 30 all. Huge volley opportunity. And yeah, all of a sudden we're down here in the second set, 2 3. But a great job here. But it. it as I keep mentioning here, it's just all about the energy and yeah, for some reason I was just kind of struggling to, I don't know, just to find that intensity, but yeah, it's just, just so important to, to find that back here. Once again, there it's I don't know, it's just just a little sloppy there with my feet and decision making. I really cannot miss that forehand as I had there at 15:30, and it's just you know all those points really add up in these kind of matches, and yeah, we're just really making this match tighter than it needs to be. Even though I feel like, as I mentioned, you know, like big favorites on paper, the marginals are very slim on this level, and it's just just need to be a little bit better everywhere but as soon as you drop that intensity all of a sudden it becomes a very level match and and yeah great job there by me and felix we we're just very comfortable when we we're both at the net i feel like we do a great job of just kind of covering up the court there so we're up here at 40-15 at 5-4 and it's just so important just to get this game, kind of force it into 5-all there. But I miss a huge 4 in there and then a double fault at 40-30. Quickly wanted to inform you about the fact that I do offer online video coaching. Just go to Pillar, I'll leave the link in the description. You go there, you upload some footage of you playing. I'll go through your footage, I'll give you some key pointers, I'll summarize it all for you in the end. You can expect like a 20 minute breakdown where I'll give you a lot of tips and tricks on things that I believe could really take your tennis to the next level. So make sure to check that out if that's of interest and uh, let's get back to the video. So we're at deuce point now at 4-5. And unfortunately we just get a little clogged up there and that's how quickly it goes and all of a sudden they sneak away with the second set there 
So we're into match breaker to decide the match. And we really get away with that one as I kind of just got stuck up there as I, I was trying to sneak in there and Felix got a really tricky ball. It's just so important to make that into the court, which he did a great job of. And then now all of a sudden we just regain that momentum. It's so important just to find that energy again, which we're starting to do here, getting up 5-0 very quickly in the match, this 10 point breaker. And then 6-0 and yeah, it just goes so quicker and it's just so important to get off to a good start, start getting that intensity and that energy back again. We're upper 7-2 serving and uh, with a good serve there by Felix really jamming up the lefty and then another huge serve there by Felix sets us up for 7 match points here. And with a very solid job there of being aggressive, really just finding that again we managed to finally close out this match 10-2 in the third set 10 point breaker. All right, so we got the win here in the first round of the second week. Really good match. I feel like we, we had to make it a little bit more interesting. I felt like we really, it was kind of a one-way match, but then in the second set, we I don't know, just kind of let them back into it. Well, early on in the second, I, th I think they, they, on my service game, they broke us. They, yeah. We didn't give that to them. And I think they played pretty solidly mid-part second set. And obviously, yeah. I think the beginning to, to lose those two sudden left juices may be a missed opportunity. Yeah. And then the final way of giving it away, but... Yeah. I feel like they got some kind of boost though, like getting those deuce points and then... And everyone watching on the side, yeah. they, got a bit of, they got a bit of support as well with the new balls everything. They were yeah. just playing really good and then... But I think that's the way it works sometimes. You have some highs, you have some lows. Yeah. I think we just had more consistent highs and I don't think we have particularly low lows. So yeah. today it worked well. We can scope out our opponents tomorrow and, and, and then win yeah, again to keep it going. And then the match tiebreak though, I felt like we came out firing though. Just roll, rolled into 7-0 and then just kind of got the work done there. Yeah, the pump out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep building and uh, let's get it in quarters. <laughs> yeah, as Felix said, maybe they upped their level a little bit and those two deuce points really helped them. Maybe they regain that confidence and then it goes back real quickly. And then obviously at 4-5 there, I messed up again a little bit. So it's a lot on me. I feel like I really didn't play up to the level I feel like I can play at. But luckily for, for me, I had a part in there that kind of helped carry me through uh, that time. And then when we needed to in a match breaker, I feel like we both kind of came together and, and stepped it up there and got the job done. But of course we had to bring it into a 10 point breaker as yeah, we played three matches so far and all of them have gone to a third set there. So I guess we had to keep that going. But a lot of small things there, but mainly for me, I feel like it was the energy there that I really need to just kind of get back out there. You know, you have to be pumped up. And, and as I mentioned, you know, it goes so quickly back and forth. It's just so important to always be there and keep that momentum and energy going, especially in these kind of conditions. But either way, it really happened with getting the win there. So we're through to the quarterfinals and doubles again this week. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Maybe leave a comment if you have any tips for me to, to keep that energy going. Maybe I could just chug some more energy drinks or something when I'm playing. But make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the quarterfinal. As I promise you, that one, I'm going to bring some energy and it's going to be a really intense and tight match, that one for sure. But thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!